What's up, everybody? It's MC. Uh, I got Sensei Hoots behind the camera, of course. Uh, we are here at the Sendarius Thornwell uh, basketball camp for the youth.
I need a buck. Get a stop. Up, bro. You know. Say what? Y'all just lost. My guy passed the ball. I got you. Back up, back up, back up. Y'all need a break? No, we good. No. Oh, you talking about that? Y'all had a break. We know y'all good. Your shirt dropped. There you go. I need a box. Get a stop. Up, you already know. Say what? Taking his job. Y'all just lost. Pass the ball. Y'all just lost. My guy passed the ball. I got you. If you pass the ball, back up, back up. Y'all need a break? No, we good. No. Oh, you talking about that? Y'all had a break. We know y'all good. Your shirt dropped. Here you go. Good work today. At this time, 
question and answers. You guys got any questions for some areas? Basketball, books, life. I know you probably have some kind of car in the PGA life. Whatever you got, ask a question and maybe his answer can help you pursue or keep pushing towards your goals. Because I'm, I, I do, it's a true story. As an eighth grader, I'm gonna tell you my age, as an eighth grader, St. Darius sat in one of my kids as an eighth grader. I've been known since eighth grade, so he was once in your shoes before. Not too my own horn, but that's why I met him at camp. And we just kinda, at the end, he kinda had a dream, like one day I wanna be the best I can be, wherever that's gonna be. Whether it's MBA, a good student, a good person, a doctor, he had an idea he wanted to be the best that can be. And once he decided to be the best he can be, he just started working with it. All right, and six, seven years later, college degree, final four, and going into his second year in the NBA. So if he play basketball tomorrow, he's probably gonna get a hundred thousand dollar job. Because he had a college degree. And that's what it, that's what it, that we want to be with you guys. So again, at one point time he was here with you guys. So whatever question that you have that you can put in your toolbox to be the best you, please answer it. And when you ask, when somebody asks a question, you guys listen because they can help you guys as well. All right. First question. Who got for who got the who had the first question? Don't be shy. Last group had a lot of questions. Anybody got a question for them? Go ahead, Corey. I feel good. Right. Feel good. You know that's because. I ain't. Mean, I was nervous. Like the first game, I was nervous. Just because, like, it's everybody's favorite player. My favorite player. So it's probably most people in here favorite player. So I think, I think the biggest thing we was like not getting dunked on, not getting embarrassed, like not letting him do something where I'm gonna end up on ESPN. So I think that kind of helped me guard him. But then once you play in NBA as well, you learn that like they're not really hard to guard as you look. But it was cool though. He's strong, he's strong, big. You just don't stop him. Like, you can't really stop him. He's too, too everything. He can do everything. He can shoot. He can. He had 47 on us, and he shot all jump shots. He didn't even shoot no layups. So he just shot all jump shots. So uh, he chose not to go to the rim that night, and he still had 47. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's the fact that I didn't know. I watched the game and you I still didn't know that. You went to Cleveland, we were up overtime. We were up 19. Oh, yeah, y'all went overtime. Up 19. He came back, brought the team back by himself. He went on like a 17 0 run by himself. Dude hit like three threes. I'm just like, Facts. <laughs> I was like, hold on now. What? Too, like, Facts. Like, I, had my best, I had my best shooting games and my best defensive games playing against him. So I feel like playing against him, like, he makes you play to another level. Like just playing against him or playing with him, like you know what I'm saying? He always make make your game go to another level. And I think that's what's so special about him. He make everybody around him play to a certain level. Any questions? Yeah. 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 What's your mentality going into every game? Uh my mentality last year was just trying to make a name for myself, you know, like in the NBA, it's all about like your name, you know what I'm saying? You gotta create, you know what I'm saying? You wanna be known, you want the other players to respect you, you want, you know what I'm saying, the older players and the coaches, the refs, you want everybody that's involved in the NBA to respect you, you know what I'm saying? So like my biggest thing was just trying to earn respect from my teammates and other players too, so. And that was just going out, you know, being tough, playing, you know, my guard was the guard, Russ, you know what I'm saying? My, I'm going out there playing. I'm going to rust the hardest I can, you know what I'm saying? Doing everything I can. Just so, you know, now when Russ see me, he like know who I am. Like he speak like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up, little, little bro? You know what I'm saying? So that's what you want, you know what I'm saying? You want the players that you look up to, to respect them. You know what I'm saying? It's older players in high school, wherever high school that you might be going to, that you've been watching all your life, that you're going to want to, you're going to want them to respect you. You know what I'm saying? Same way. And so my thing was, I just wanted all the, Players that I look up to to respect me, have respect for me, for my game. One more question. Why did you choose basketball out of every sport that you could have chose? Uh. Mm. That's actually a good question. <laughs> I don't know, man. I never played baseball, 
So I, that was out of the question. Uh, football, I chose football because it, it, the career is longer, you know what I'm saying? Like playing football, you only good for like four or five years, you know what I'm saying, max. Well, at like your highest potential, you know what I'm saying, in the NFL. Where the NBA, you can play 10, 15 years, you know what I'm saying? So I, I went with the longevity, what's, you know what I'm saying, what's more long term, what's, you know what I'm saying, what's better for myself, you know what I'm saying? The NFL, I only play football and basketball, so. NFL people be broke and out of the league after two, three years, you know what I'm saying? So I really been in the NBA for 10 plus years and, you know what I'm saying, have a, something set up for myself or, instead of something so short. All right, guys, once again, thank you so much for coming. Make sure you thank your parents for bringing you. Um, what we're going to do to end, I did lay down your, your hot shot scores over here, so just look for your name, um, just pick up your paper. But once you grab your paper, Please have a seat on the baseline over there, on the black line over there. We'll take a picture, get an autographed picture from them, and then you'll get some more uh, gifts on the way out. All right? Everybody go there. Any questions? So grab your paper and have a seat. Let's break it down right here. In the middle. In the middle. Good job. Here we go. In the middle. In the middle. Who got it? We got Thornwell on three loud. Nice and loud. Thornwell on three. One, two, three. Thornwell. Grab a paper, have a seat.